I know. It was a joke. I was <laughs> trying to get that on video. There, there you go. <laughs> Uh, hi, welcome to TFLP Microset Casters. Uh, tonight I'm oh jeez. Tonight I'm joined by Anna. Hello. And Rob. Hi. So you notice that uh, Christian's on vacation this week, and we took a week off last week. So we figured we can't take two weeks off in a row. So here we nope. are with Rob. <laughs> man you're you're slumming now you're like scraping the bottom of the barrel like i guess we'll invite rob <laughs> nothing better to do well since we're also uh, taking this opportunity to review a figure that neither christian nor i have well i was gonna say since rob's on we can actually talk about some like third party right since uh that we can hey i have a pile of new third party on my desk here you just don't have it lucas is it actual third party or knockoff garbage? Oh no, I I have like this, you know, little fella. Oh, the new age, yeah. I well, I I want to know how those guys are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the magic square guys, they're fine. There you go. Review finished. <laughs> there, there you go. Oh, and I have a wonderful purple bike lady on my desk too. Ah, oh. that... here. Was that the? Uh... Was that from the Nice Company or no? It's from Good Smile, the company that makes Figma. Oh, Good Smile, yeah, I got, I think a Link figure from them. So she's not pervy at all. She's just a, a bike lady. Does it actually transform? Yes, but probably not to your satisfaction. I, like I she want... definitely looks like a robot that folds around and can roll, but is it really a motorcycle? <laughs> She is has it like wheels a, and handles, but... Is it like Psykill, where he just lays down and grabs his wheel? Psykill then... looks a little more like a motorcycle than she does. Oh, that's, I mean, that's a low bar I set in there. <laughs> it, it is, it is. It's, you know, I, I really like to talk about her sometime, but really what it is is just that it's their first time making a Transformer. So yeah. <laughs> they made a lot of weird mistakes, but it's still a nice, nice figure. But that's not Can what we're here to talk about. Can you call it a transformer or is it a transforming action figure? I call it, it's going to hang out with Nicey, so I don't know what you call it. It's going to be my like shiny robot ladies. You know, we got into some of that discussion in, an, in another group about how um, it's not a transformer. It's the reason why instructions don't say uh, transformation steps. They say conversion steps. That way transform doesn't become just a generally accept, accepted verb. That way you right. can stay a brand, which, you know, just one of those funny legal things, you know, that uh, impact right. words, you know, like it's how like what, Kleenex or, you know, Velcro Lego, stuff like that. Um, Q-tip, like those are brands, but we identify them with what they are, you know, sticky note, like those are brands. Um, that's why like Lego will get mad. He was like, that's not Lego. These are building blocks. Right. You know, these are bricks and any company can make bricks. We make Lego. Um yeah, one of those things. So, no, it's not a transformer. It's a figure that converts. We know all about companies trying to make blocks right. that go together, right? Yeah. Got a desk full of Creo, too. So, uh, I'm actually kind of surprised Christian didn't, you know, get this figure. Because yeah. this is kind of like in his wheelhouse as far as, like, he's collecting a lot of the MMC IDW figures as well. He's a but I think fellow, it was. Though. He's trying to pull back away from right. third party. Yep. He's yeah, got I a think budget. It's... He's trying to stick to it. So yeah. It's very hard. He's a smarty. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think, I think the last time we talked about it, and he's not here, so we'll just speak for him. Um, and it'll be a hundred percent accurate and he'll agree with all of it. Um, but I believe he said that, you know, because he is trying to focus more and he's going just on mainline stuff. I think he was saying like, he's getting the DJD and then like, unless any other like big characters pop up, he's, probably not going to so like i think wrong is like yeah i gotta get wrong but i don't know if there's too much past that that he's bothering with you know they may they may surprise us with what they pull out but like if they did a nautica i don't know if he'd if he'd be able to withhold you know i'm not sure i'm not sure where his love for nautica is but like i know that's I a fan favorite guilty if he didn't right? get her i mean i mean you're hasbro sexist made you a nautica right, that's right. So... <laughs> i have that figure because there's nothing else the poop nautica <laughs> Nautica is literally made of poop. 
So I like I, that I mold, that's like... but like it's not Nautica. I feel it's like. a great figure and it looks nice, but is it Nautica? No, it's just that isn't that. even her face. No. No. Right. Anyway, we're here to talk about a figure that actually looks like what it's supposed to be made yeah, by a third party. Yeah. yeah. We. <laughs> MMC getaway. What was it? Exodus. Exodus. Yes. Right. Like, I'm not sure what the joke is there. I assume there's a joke. It sounds like Calidus and Exodus, and it's leaving, like Getaway. I don't know. Oh, Exodus Getaway. I am thick tonight. I am. Yeah, Exodus Getaway. Duh, obviously. (laughs) I feel dumber than normal, not saying something. Uh, see, I thought you were going for something like more Kim Flex, like you were looking for like the (laughs) the great meeting. 4D chess right there. (laughs) Me and Brain, no, no good. That's okay. We accept no brain of good and microcasters. So I'm a little surprised that they didn't make this sooner. I mean, because the Calidus mold is now a few years old. Five, right? It's the 16 mold. Oh, God, is it that old? It is old. Like, I mean, it's so old that it was competing with that SXX, SXS. Um, Rodimus, you know, which was, I think that's one of two figures they made, right? Yeah. Um, and I think they made uh, three. I can't remember what the third one was, though. Yeah, but like they that company's been dead forever. Yeah. yeah the gears they made a what? Terrible. They made a Gears as well. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Garbage. That's right. They did. <clears throat> and then they also made the Blur, which was fine. Blur was I, okay. My guess is that we haven't seen it until now because it's just taken them that long to get to it. I think. Like, obviously, a few years back, they were like, we need to focus on DJD and getting it done. And I'm glad they made that switch because, you know, IDW or, you know, that universe ended. Finishing up the DJG is like a big accomplishment. Um, and I, I think that's what they were doing, you know, because factories can only produce so much at once. Uh, yeah, I, have yes, I, have say, no I feel like Getaway is a more a much more obvious remold than this was. Yeah, that than making override slash um, nitro convoy, and this came out years ago at this time. point. Right. This was like three years old, I think. I keep looking to my rights because that's where I have Rodimus and and Getaway. Like I always thought Rodimus was a little off model, like especially he for is. Yeah. I'm like not crazy so, but a little off model, and. My gut says that it's because they had getaway planned from the start, and for whatever reason, they leaned more into getaway, like on some core parts underneath. Um, because I feel like he's a really good looking getaway, but I don't have the images up right next with me. Planning five years in the future, well, we know MMC does that, yeah. You know, they, they pre they pre repaint and retool all their figures. Um, and it's, it's nice. always been that a lot of the artists draw Rodimus as being very like lithe and agile and skinny. And yeah. that figure is just like, it's not bulky, but it's also not, you know, scrawny either. The hot flame figure, the SSX one, I think did a great job of capturing how he looks in the comics. And then it transforms into a pile of trash because you break right. it when you're transforming it. Cause it's made out of like half right bottle plastic. Anyway, it's in my basement. I mean, that's the thing is about this Rodimus is, is it's very sturdy. Like, it, it feels yeah. really good. So it's like, even though, yeah, like, it's not as skinny as, as you know, what one might like. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I really like it. I mean, it's probably one of my favorite Rodimuses, Rodimai. It's a really good transforming action figure. Right. Yeah. Right. The only thing yeah. I, about this figure is, is that... All of the oranges just blend in, like so. It's, I mean, it's the coloring. I think is 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 fine, but like it's like there's there's like all these different shades of oranges, but they kind of like blend in together. Um, it is really the only issue. But I don't know. I like it. it it's all right, cool Rodimus can get away now. <laughs> so like, it's one of those like the color breakup does work out way better on getaway oh, here. Yeah. Um. On the one I'm like, I don't have a lot to say about it other than, I mean, it's getaway. It's good. It's a good mold from a good company. Um, so it, on the one hand, it feels very standard, but also I feel like MMC's IDW releases are a very high standard to begin with. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I don't have any issues with it. Um, I don't have, 
don't know. It's what I expected. But, you know, which sounds, again, like I'm being dismissive of it, and I'm really not. I think it's, you know, it's very nice. It's awesome to have a getaway on my shelf. Um, so the one thing I'll say about it is, is I feel like if this had been made five years ago, I don't know that it would have had quite as many paint accents on it as what it does. And I, I could be completely wrong about that. But if you look at that, just like, you know, some of the like panel lining that it has and some of the like little like details as far as that, like makes it look really good. I don't know that they would have like, and maybe they would have, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to say, but they like went through a run years ago, like around that time period where they just, they weren't making everything a hundred percent accurate. And like they, they were making things for remolds and whatnot. And like, so it, it didn't look accurate and they didn't put all the paint, that they needed to on it. And I think that this does have all the paint that you would like want. And like, I mean, especially with the head sculpt, like if you look at this like head sculpt and like all the, you know, the little paint work like on, on the head, I think that that's where it really shines too. Yeah. It's, it's a really nice figure. And as you said, there's a lot of paint on it and the paint is nicely done for the most part. Um, Again, if you buy a lot of MMC stuff, you know what you're getting. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Um, and yeah, they definitely went through that run where I felt they lost their way a bit. And, you know, I think the biggest offender there is always Cyclonus, oh. um, you know, who's such a major character. And that is like, I think that's, a, again, it's a good toy, but is it IDW Cyclonus? No, <laughs> not even But I mean, close. that was one of those figures, too. They just, like, totally switched the color scheme on him. Like, he had a more accurate IDW color scheme. And then, like, at the last minute, they, like, switched it to this, like, more g one s. So it was, like, kind of, like, in between both. And then they, like, put some funky pink, like, panel lining and, and accents and stuff on it. I don't know. It just, like, that figure, that's, that's the one that it's, like, I don't even know why I still own it. I probably should sell it, but whatever. I, I never bought it because it was just it angers me. It still angers me. <laughs> but that's kind of why I think or my completely made up <laughs> guess is that Rodimus was made with Getaway in mind because I think it again it makes a better Getaway but Rodimus yeah. is the much more popular character and so that's why they did him first. Um, and he, he works well enough. You know as Anna said that SXS one is more um, more accurate, but at the end of the day, like when I was trying to decide which one, I was like, MMC is too known of a quantity. You made the um, right choice. That toy is yeah, very, and, very bad quality. And nobody I know has got that one and said anything good about it. But also, I know like two people that have bought it. So It looks just like him. There, yeah. I said something good about it. He's on my uh, shelf. He looks nice being the Lost Light Rodimus for me. He just can't transform, which is fine because <laughs> he barely transforms anyway in the comics, but... Also, kind of makes him less of a um, transforming action figure. Yeah. Well, for those that have Rodimus, if you're wondering, like, <laughs> is this just a repaint? I mean, it it is not just a repaint. There are a lot of new parts on here. Like, I mean, at least a third of it's new. So, um, one thing I'll say, uh, one of my slight complaints about this figure is, is I do feel like he's a little more fragile than what the Rodimus is like a lot of these little bits like his his chest here like the wings in the back just don't feel quite as uh substantial as like the Rodimus so like I feel like I have to be more careful with uh with transforming it um in the same way like the the cockpit like actually plugs in like there's a little tab down here where that wasn't present on the Rodimus and so like just all of that kind of stuff and then there's like those little wings that or the things that flip out here I I think it just um I, again like there's nothing bad about it like I don't I don't think I mean this is MMC like I don't think that um most of the reformatted stuff usually doesn't break but I do think it's something that you have to watch out for you know, you know, again, it's nice I have Rodimus here in hand. Um, I don't feel that it's any more fragile, but the parts are thinner. Like, the, a lot of the new parts are definitely thinner. You know, his wings are skinnier than Rodimus. Rodimus is, and, you know, like you said, the flaps here and the flaps here and the kind of the flaps on the wings. Like, a lot of them are thinner pieces than new parts are. 
Right. And I suspect that's done to make some of the transformation fit or for aesthetics. I, I don't know. Um, you know, I haven't had any issues with it, but like the chest is new. The shins are new. The feet are new. Um, the little side plate on the side of his arms are new. The shoulders are new and have car parts on it. The back is new. The head's new. Like, yeah. it's a lot of new parts. The parts that are the same as, you know, like the forearms and elbows, you know, the wheels and the back of the, or the middle part of the leg, like in the middle, because this is new crap on the back. It's new crap on the front. Um, and then the upper thighs are the same and the crotch is the same. Like, the, well, it's I, it's so much new figure. But, you know, transformation is basically the same. It's a, it's a little different, but nothing right. noteworthy. I, I feel like that it's kind of like Hasbro's kind of doing the same thing with their figures, where the, like, transformation and the skeleton, like, all of that development is essentially the same. And, but then, you know, they're retooling it and, and you know, reshelling it and whatever uh, with the parts. So, um, And that works yeah. really well for... Yep characters from the lost light who never transform anyways and their alt modes might as well not exist <laughs> so what are they both transforming to car shaped ish things it's fine <laughs> you know you'll transform it once or twice i mean because they're good toys but you nobody's going to display these in those modes on a shelf right ever the worst defender was the chrome gnome because he's perfectly accurate and he looks like nothing in yeah. his alt mode it's just so amusing <laughs> to me it's accurate though yeah, he's, he's great, but he doesn't look like anything. <laughs> oh, and that's a note. It was this figure, right, that came with the proper colored hands for yes. for them, um, which probably annoys people that bought that set and wanted to use that accessory but didn't get getaway. It really annoys me, honestly, because I would like to use that accessory. I didn't even notice the paint colors were wrong on it until someone showed me their copy of the hands from this figure, and I was just like, oh no the paint was wrong oh goodness <laughs> and now now i can't stand and it i can't use that accessory anymore i don't know if you contact i don't know how their after sale support is so i don't know if like if you contact them like okay you know what send us five bucks and we'll send you the part right you know i, yeah, I don't know I, I don't know if they did anything like that and i understand how to some degree how third party is and i'm it makes me happy when they try to fix things with later releases you know, yeah. like, like fans toys, when they started out doing the dino bots, they did that a lot where like, here's the first dinosaur and like people had some issues. And so the next one came out, which had some parts for the first one. Right. You know, and they, you know, like the that trend kind of kept, for Grimlock. Yeah. Like, you know, eventually, yeah, the shoes for Grimlock, new undersides for the first uh, slag. I um, you know, then later they ended up doing a new slag. But, um, you know, like they, they just kind of kept doing that. And we've seen that a lot throughout the third party industry since then. Yeah. Um, which, which is nice because, you know, a lot of them don't have much other ways of, of doing that. They don't have a way to send everybody a new part or they, you know, they probably couldn't aff afford it anyways. Right. Um, but, you know, bundle it with something else. And there's probably some people out there that just won't get away or don't care about the hands. Um, but it, it's harder to do, but I don't know. MNC is a good company, but again, I don't know if their after sales can hook you up or not. Yeah. It's something to think about. So the question I want to ask you guys about this figure is, I don't really have any fandom for the um, IDW version of Getaway. My attachment to Getaway really exists with the G1 toy, just because I had it as a kid, and it's one of my very few G1 toys. Aside from the fact there's some clay on it, is complete and in good shape, aside from the clay. So it, I have an attachment to it. Would this guy fulfill that, or is he too no. far removed? I don't think no. so. I mean, it's like, no. here it is. Yeah, like, I mean, I have, there's no hesitation. I knew where you were going with that. And, like, yeah. I, I have G1 get, I mean, I have pretty much everything G1, but no, this has nothing to do with that toy, even slightly. Like, other the than, you know, some, similar. Yeah, like I said, uh, beyond some, like, vague color similarities, right? The head um, resembles. I mean, there's, if you, if you were wanting something like that, I would, I would go with, like, the, what was it? The, there was one in, some in the main line, there there was some repaint that was supposed Titans to be given away. Titans Return, but I don't. I don't no, th there was another one before that. There was one before that too. Yeah, that was like a. Oh, I can't remember who it's a repaint of. Like, oh man, I don't know. It's killing me. But 
it was before it was like a movie line toy that they did oh, a repaint okay. into getaway colors um I, i'm playing like i had it for a long time it was my getaway for a long time because that was the best we had then yeah then the better to me. Um, but yeah i would go with one of those if you're if you're itching for a g1-ish getaway but I don't know, this stuff is so deep fried in idw that we're I just can't, coming I can't around separate. to his arc and book club so maybe i'll start to like him but um, so far i just don't care hashtag getaway was right Hashtag getaway did nothing wrong. <laughs> Foreshadowing there. Uh, no, nah. like we make that joke about like I was like Killmonger and Thanos and stuff, but I don't really feel that applies to getaway. Nah. He was just he was wrong. No, no, but <laughs> um, hey, I do have a question about uh, this getaway though, Rob, because I'm probably doing something wrong. I am having the darndest time actually getting the tabs tabbed in on the sides. Are you? I meant to say that earlier. Issue? I meant to say that earlier. That's my the one issue I have. Like it doesn't it it doesn't peg in on the side. Um, and you showed it there pretty good there. It, your camera actually picked it up. Um, yeah, it's like where the black tab goes into the side. Um, um, like Rodimus has, you know, an overdrive there probably does as well. Like yeah, Rodimus is in there, the... nice and good. Oh, this one doesn't just... peg in well. It doesn't. Like ultimately affects pretty much nothing other than like that black piece might move as you're articulating the shoulder, um, right. and I don't. I would assume it's because this chest piece is new that maybe they missed up a measurement by a millimeter, you know, and yeah. uh, it just doesn't snug on there like you would like. I've gotten it before, but yeah, she taps loosely, but she taps. Well, yeah. that's what I was trying to figure. Out. I was like, man, I, I was trying just for the hardest time to try to get it like tabbed in. And it was one of those things that I think it was probably tabbed in better, like, originally. And if I would have never transformed it, it would, you know, but. Did it come in robot mode? Yeah. Okay, I don't even remember. I feel like I've had it for forever all, already, which isn't true, but. Oh, man, now you got me messing with it again. Like, it has a notch where that pipe is supposed to go, but that doesn't really match. Yeah. Like, because, well, I don't know. But no, I, I, have the, I have the same issue. I can't, I had it, I swear I had it pegged in there at one time. Like, I can get it on one side. That's the problem. Right. Like, I can kind of get it on his left side. It's not great, but then I can't get the right side on once I yep. get that side in. Nope, I had the same. Okay, so that's, it's not just me, because that was what, I messaged you earlier when I had it in, in car mode, that, like, I was having that trouble with that, like, lining up, because there's a little bit of a, of a separation uh, with yeah. the with the front panel too, but which I'm sure I was probably just, you know, not lining something up right. But like I can get, I can get it if I like push, but it pops out as soon as I right. take the pressure off. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay, anyway. so it's not. It looks fine. It, it's it's minor, but it is it is a thing. Yeah. And he comes with this clear blue bow and arrow for some reason. I, I don't know. Um, so I th that was actually a Planet Steel Express exclusive. So not all uh -huh. of us got that, Rob. Uh -huh. for, I don't know why I don't get these figures from PSX. I don't either. They come super quick. They free shipping when you pre-order, and it's as cheap the cheapest spot you can get it. It is the best. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll do it from now on. But nevertheless, uh, I do not have that. Okay. I mean, it's. I assume it's just one of those yes and just a bonus because Rodimus had it and right. they're like, well, we'll just recolor it and put it in there and we'll, well make it always, clear. Planet Steel Express always usually does that where they throw in like a free accessory. I, my under, I swear that sometime, sometimes those things that were supposed to be Planet Steel Express pre-order exclusive only ended up at other places, but right. maybe that's not consistent because like obviously if you don't have it, then... No one I think that happens with other places and other figures and stuff they've done like the um uh what you call it the the cape for like deadlock drift or whatever you know that they yeah threw that in like later down the line and whatnot like they think that was supposed to be a PSX exclusive but um yeah so ultimately like should you buy this or not um I don't know again I think it's one of those you either already have or you haven't. You know, if you're if you love the IDW line and you want figures, every figure you've already got it. There's no reason to not get it if you're into that. 
if you like IDW, you like get away from it. You should totally get it. Um, if you just want to experience the mold, this is a, a good use of it. It's it's a good mold. It's a fun toy. It's it's MMC doing what MMC does best with you know um, straightforward transformations. Um, everything's pretty obvious, and you know it's well made. It's got he's got a lot of paint on him. He's visually interesting, which is nice. Like more so than Rodimus, even though I don't think yeah. Rodimus is as bland as uh, Lucas thinks he is. But um, no, yeah. he he he's fine. I'm just saying that like you can tell like th- this one has a lot more. Uh, you know, interesting bits to it, like you know, just yeah. little paint apps. The little orange highlights going part. throughout it are really nice. Yes, and they they just kind of pop up everywhere. Yeah, yeah I'd say they're all good versions of a good mold. You really can't go wrong with any version of the Calidus mold. Yeah. Like they're all good toys. I think right. I the Rodimus is the most boring, but <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, it's also kind of the most off model in a way. Yes. You know? Right. Override, you can say, like, you know, she wasn't really updated, so is she off-model, is she not, who cares? Yeah, yeah. It looks Rob, enough like her. Rob, the only thing that's bad about this figure is, is it wants me to go back and, uh, or it makes me want to go back and get the um, uh, the figure that I sold you, the Star Saber, uh, by Planet <laughs> X. Because then... Uh. Like if they made if if someone made a uh, Scorponok that was you know that size or whatever I think I'd but there was no Star Saber I think I'd have to go back just so I could have the three of them together. <laughs> uh, I mean that's a cool toy. Like the head sculpt's a little bad on it on the Star Saber, but um, right. yeah. Like the issue I'm running into now is my I have three shelves for IDW figures and they're full. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's well. What what do I adjust next? And you know, I'm I'm trying to figure it out. That's um, a good problem to have, though. We complained for so long. It's never a problem I thought I would have. You know, I didn't think we'd get there. So I agree with you. You know, it's and it's one of those like I'll just get rid of more chug stuff, right? Um, to keep my IDW shelves, but there's no more room where they are. Like there's other collections around them that you know it's like I don't I don't have room. I don't know what to do. Uh, but, you know, this well, stuff comes out at a trickle, so, you right. know, that's tomorrow Rob's problem. <laughs> right, exactly, next year. Um, but, yeah, that's the thing is, like, I always feel like MMC makes the figures that I wish Hasbro would make. But Hasbro kind of started making those, like, not quite, like, it's not to MMC's level yet. But just for the price that, like, they've definitely upped their, you know, upped their quality. Um. Just because I won't have another chance to talk about it, uh, realistically, but I got in this big dude, you know, it was MMC's uh, not star convoy, and like this was what like me and Anna were talking about the other day on our Discord, on our TF Talk Discord plug, um, and it was like what 160 shipped. It was cheaper if you got it from Planet Still Express originally. This thing is huge. Like it's it's not perfect, um, but who else is going to do a big ass star convoy? <laughs> you know, like let's let's get real. It looks um, way cooler than the official Star Convoy we got recently. Oh, so much better. So much better. Well, and, and that's the and, thing. And I it, almost kind of wish that, like, because I ended up getting it when it came back in stock on Hasbro Pulse, you know? And I'm like, man, that I was like an $80 wish... figure, right? Yeah. It was because like of the import fees. Yeah. Lol. And this you can get for 140 off, like, Big Bad Toy Store. Right. So. And it's, you know, it's. I don't know. I'm surprised it's that cheap giving what prices are doing it these days. It looks so good. Right. That thing, like, I really want to own that. I just wish it wasn't another Optimus Prime. Well, like I said, you can pretend it's not. It's Star Convoy. Who, the I thing know. is, like, according to the wiki, it is Optimus Prime. Right. So, <laughs> but, I mean, let's be real. You're not a stranger to headcanon, so make up whatever you want. Maybe it's God Genrise upgraded version. All right? You know, who's, who's Genrise a dude? on his shoulder, not his head. The what? I said the cannons are on his shoulders, not oh, his head. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Sorry. Um, like this oh thing isn't perfect. You know, I'm not gonna do a full review on it, but like, I mean, it's it's a little step down in what I would he normally expect. He talked me into it. We talked about it a while yeah. back, and he talked me into like I should have that thing because it looks like something I would really enjoy owning. That's an actual Anna toy, Lucas. Not knockoff speed Anna toys, but fun things that are interesting are Anna toys. <laughs> 
Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. You just don't see toys that big at that price that often these days. It's not like never, but, um, you know, and that's not just affecting third party, you know, like fans toys and X Transbots prices have gone through the roof. But so as Masterpiece started going through a roof a while back, you know, deluxes have done nothing but continue to go up through the years. They're, I, I still think of a deluxe as like a $10 toy, <laughs> you know, which is ridiculous. They're like $23, $24 now and usually smaller than what I'm used to. Um, you know, so, yeah, yeah. I, I wonder if MMC will eventually raise their prices because I feel like they've kind of locked in at the same pricing that they've been using for years. Uh, so, yeah, now their stuff is, like, a pretty darn good value. Um, like, I think this figure, again, five years ago, the the Rodimus, I think, was 90 bucks, and this is 90 bucks. So it was, like, yeah. this, uh, you know. I'm not yeah, sure. Are they, they passing along the savings, or is it, like, because MMC Plastic has a pretty distinctive feel. Like, most companies do. You know, like, you can tell, like, they have their own mix of plastic. Right. And maybe MMC just has a cheaper mix, but it's still sturdy, or they just do it thicker, or... Or maybe they just make less money on it. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to say. Yeah. But so you know what uh, more figures need though? What's that? Are magnets like this dude? Again, the figure in my hand is it's Trans Arts uh, Ravage, but his guns he doesn't have holsters. These magnets. Yeah, oh, nice. that's perfect. That's so cool. I love I like magnets. That. Just everybody out there ever that's a toy designer. If you can work in magnets, do it. They're so great. Magnets last too. That's the thing. Like, yeah. I pull out old magnets from my childhood, and they're fine. A lot of other things and toys wear out really bad, but magnets are magnets I mean, are forever. I can't think of how many toys have spots that, like, oh, the gun pegs into their hips, you know, or even something pegs into their hands. I understand there's not really room usually to put a magnet in a hand, but you know, that's like they just do not hold their spots at all. And it's like, oh man, magnets would be so great. How do they work? Rob, I, I feel like you really are itching to bring back uh, Ouch My Wallet here, considering that you're like, oh, my other figure and my yeah. other Yeah, you're, you're Ouch so, Wallet. It's like, all right, I am, three I am a little Rob bit. Well, we've talked about Getaway, and <laughs> I was pitched this show as Anna had some things to talk about as well that she wouldn't get any other chance to talk about, and we'd probably talk about them tonight. Oh, but while yeah. I was doing like two minute it, mentions of a few things, that's all. Anna still hasn't had dinner, so she's not okay. as excited to talk about other things. Oh no, you were you were like talking how you're gonna show off some amazing figure, no? I was just gonna show off a weird thing, not really. I, you won't call well, it amazing. Obviously. You'll be like, "That's KO trash." I'm Lucas. I don't know what KOs <laughs> are. Do, do you normally go around stating who you are? He does it all the time. It's really frustrating. No, I, I was going to show off this thing. I was going to show off and my transforming have. baby carriage. <laughs> what? Oh, that's definitely knockoff trash. That's wonderful. It's not a knockoff at all. It's not a it, knockoff. It looks, like, a... it looks like knockoff quality plastic. Like, oh, did you get not. it from Sir Toys? I did get it from Sir Toys. It's, it's a Chinese trash. toy line. Yeah, there you go. It's a weird Chinese so toy line. Does this transform but... or what? As you can it, see, it, it's got a little it butterfly face. Uh huh. And yeah, it's it's got a handle because it's a baby carriage. Right. I found a way that I could twist it around so it can actually hold babies. And I have I have some pictures I'll share later with my little tiny RC in it because she's kind of a baby. It's really messed up. I enjoyed it greatly. <laughs> and it's a baby carriage that transforms. It's really complicated. It's a very complex transformation. You know when one of us on this show is okay to do it during the show that it's nothing to worry about. <laughs> essentially a masterpiece figure right here. <laughs> a mini masterpiece. A mini masterpiece. Full size. Not Definitely. even ready. Click, click, crack, crack. Uh, oh, clock's ticking. Do, do. Oh yeah, it's heck gets stuck because it's masterpiece. Because it's knockoff garbage. <laughs> it's not knockoff garbage. So, so Catherine it, like uh, was saying that we need to join the Discord, and I am on the Discord like every once in a while, but it's like one of those things where I like pop in like once every like two weeks or so, and then I like am there, and then I, you know. Kind of yeah, you pop it. in because I usually tell you there's some sort of fun drama going on. You're like, I want to stick my nose at this, then you're gone. I'm in the Discord 
all the time. I just don't participate much. Like, I mean, I'm in, I use Discord, Discord pretty regularly, but I honestly, in any of them, and I don't chat that much. You're like, Discord I'll, lurker. I am a lurker. Like, I'll usually come up and skim, you know, what's been going on. If I have anything worthwhile to contribute, I might, you know, pop in. If I have time to chat, lots of times I don't. You know, because it is a chat program. I, I feel like that there's, I mean, it's, it's something where I just should get in the habit of doing, but like, I don't know if there's a good way with like some of the notification system settings, like of what what to do. Ta da! Transformed. So, are the legs like weird or? No. Nope. Or okay, the legs. is it just for for yeah. some reason like it seemed like it wasn't stable, but like oh, the way stable. they were doing it. Okay. Well, I mean, it also looks like she has it, yeah, like on a stack of boxes or something. Yeah, so, it's so the to boxes be honest, Anna, I actually really like this thing, and I think it's really neat. Like, I, I actually think it'd be a cool toy for kids uh, to get. Fantastic, thank you, Lucas. Kids like me can enjoy this. Or, it'd or be absolutely, support. it'd be absolutely wonderful for uh, to be on the next few knockoff beat down. Um, it's a great gift to get children that you don't like and you want them to know that you don't like them. It's like a gift to get children you do like. This is like the robot mode of Mothra. I mean, it's it's like, oh, I want this new Transformer. It's like, well, I'm not even going to get you a GoBot. I'm going to get you something that transforms into a baby carriage. <laughs> it does transform into <laughs> a baby carriage. That's weird. Uh, How that many is... transforming baby carriages do you guys own? I'm at zero. Oh, <laughs> only three or four. <laughs> I'm glad I get to show it off. <laughs> Anyone no, who no. survived to the end of the show, this is your punishment. No, I, I do actually think that that's cool. Like I, I kind of, it's it's one of my favorite. I love oddball stuff. You've shown off, so. It's one of those. I love oddball stuff, and I love weird knockoffs. Um, but like space being what it is, like I restrict yeah. myself these days to just like, if it's a G1 recolor, that is just stupid looking and I can get it for pretty cheap, then I'll buy it. Like that's kind of, you know, where I, I just, I had to draw the line because there's so much out there and there's so much other weird transforming stuff. Like Sir Toys is fun to browse just because there's just it so is. much stuff out there. It um, is. And if you, if you know what you're doing, you can actually buy some pretty fun figures. Like this, this actually wasn't that cheap. Like it wasn't really a cheap figure and it's not a crappy figure at all. You know, it's a, it's so a it's nice plastic. transforming baby carriage, butterfly monster lady thing, whatever you want to call it. But it is a weird thing. Like it's definitely a weirdo. And then sometimes you'll buy things like you'll find that they have a, um, they had a knockoff of, I always talk about my target roids, right? My old TFC target roids. I remember roids. those. Yeah, these guys are like, Him who even sound have wave? these guys anymore? They're and fantastic. And Sound Blaster. Yeah, I were, had them and I sold them. them. Well, oh, wait, no, 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 not Sound Blaster. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of the Headmasters that yeah, existed. Yeah, yeah. These were, are the target masters. They did Optimus, Megatron, Starscream, and Hot Rod, and then repainted them a couple times. And I have the whole set, but they had they had knockoffs of them. I didn't know knockoffs of those guys existed. Why would so you gonna, knock that off? Like, boy, I you're really gonna make that? I would that. knock it off. So, like, they looked pretty normal in pictures. So I was like, sure, let's get them. They were really cheap. It was a set of six, and you know, this is what I got. Ooh. This is a a huge hideous that, version of the toy. Look at that dangly arm. Oh yeah, and, like, dangly arm. And also, you know how Hollow. Yeah. the original has leg ball joints so its legs yeah. can move and transform? The um, the knockoff does not have those. The knockoff also has no handle. So when you transform it into gun mode, which it can almost do, there's no way for anyone to hold it. <laughs> oh, man, that's like a... That's the worst fake advertising, basically. You know, it's like they put it up in the window and you can only see one side of it. Yes. Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, you can, you can get up. this thing to have its gun barrel and everything, and it can kind of transform, but then no one can hold it. You can't finish transforming it. Its head oh, can't man. turn. It's... <laughs> oh, jeez. But I have I... six of these. What, what's the market for this? That You Anna. know, like, who, who's... Bu Anna, yeah. what's the market? Okay, so they sold three of them. Like, why'd they even bother stealing the molds and cheapening them? Like, why, why go through I the I was effort? super excited just to get some knockoff versions of the Target Masters, just to kind of, like you know, have them as guns 
for yeah. guys that turn into like crappy looking robots. But like, here's my here's my lovely star scream. This is a this is a winner here. Oh, you can lord that over Paul though. Yes, Paul, I can uh, give it to Paul, and he'll have to wash his hands every time he touches it. Because every time I touch these, they make my hands itch. They just like they they feel gross. <laughs> oh, it looks so bad. And hollowness in the legs. It, he also can't actually take his gun mode and has no handle. All of them can't actually take their gun modes and do not have handles. So, because I haven't thought about those in a long time. Again, I had them forever ago, but I just Googled again and like looking at the Megatron. If you got one of that one, it's okay that it doesn't transform because that thing already doesn't transform. He literally just does the splits and puts his arms on. It's like gun mode. So so he can he can do the splits and like stretch out into a long thing. Yeah, these the, the just, version of him from these doesn't actually have any leg joints to do the splits, <laughs> so it can't yeah. even start transforming. Oh, that's hilarious. It cannot even begin. I had two of that. Man. Two of the Megatron, two of the Starscream, and one each of Hot Rod and well, Optimus. Well, luckily, only spent like ten dollars on the whole lot, so. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. But I'm just saying, sometimes when you take the gambles on the weird stuff you find on Star Toys, you strike gold, you get something really cool that you're always going to have in your collection and, you know, shake in front of people and be like, ah, it's something weirder than you have. And then sometimes you get crap like that that you don't know what to do with because you feel bad throwing things away. But, man. (laughs) Or you get cursed with Calculation King and you're like, oh, how do I get rid of this huge piece of garbage that's, you know crowding my shelves and and cheapening my entire collection by its existence and proximity if you were here in person i would throw poop at you you just got you got feces sitting around that's literally people in folding calculation right here right here (laughs) (laughs) this is what i would throw at you i feel like i feel like that should be your tagline anna i have something weirder than you (laughs) i think so like i don't know i don't feel like i really you know um the the Oofities slash Obscurios show. I don't feel like I really won that. Like I have some weird I so. stuff, but I don't know. I feel like I feel like other people have weirder stuff than me. I don't know. I was pretty happy with kicking it off with toilet bots, you know. <laughs> and that is weird, you know. Like yeah. I think I think your toilet bots and my baby carriage, they're from the same world of why would anyone want a transforming version of that? And why would I not? Like I, I, I mean, really want that. I love the weird uh the few weird mainline stuff, transformer stuff we've got. And I say few just because comparatively, like, you know, we got a toaster, we got, uh, you know, a Mountain Dew branded toy, you know, like we have a few of those that have come out. We got one that transforms into a boombox radio, like that frenzy toy, you know, from the first movie line. It's like huge. Um, you know, so like we have a few odd ones and I love those odd ones like that. Um, but we don't get a lot of them. They're definitely never going to do a baby carriage. That's like the DJD. We have MMC made one that transforms into an electric chair. Hasbro's not going to do that. <laughs> you know, and right. it's excellent. Right. It's so good. Yeah, I think it's uh, MMC and Iron Factory. We have two transforming action figures that turn yep. into electric chairs. It's great. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I would have a variety of sizes of yeah, transforming I want to know if that, chairs. if that came from Roberts or Milne or both. Because like, I, I know, you know, I know like, there was a lot of collaboration on that. It's very you know. fun. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to ask him next time uh, we're at TFCon. Yeah, like I know he said, I've asked him before at at something, and I think he, I'm pretty sure he said that like you know he designed all the transformations, like when he made the alt modes, like he made them you know to be able to work, you know to at least some degree, yeah. right? Like they weren't just completely like G1 cartoon yeah. nonsense, right? Um, but you know I don't know if he picked the alt modes necessarily, or if you know James Rob's like man eh, go nuts because. James Roberts doesn't even think about alt modes, right? <laughs> That's why we never see him in the story. Pretty clear. But, pretty yeah. Clear. So. so, shall we make our getaway? Sure. Uh, I'm going to make my exitus. <laughs> well, Rob, thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, thanks to everyone in the chat. Uh, thanks, Catherine and Randall. Um, and uh, to mention for those uh, listening, watching uh, book club this week is going to be Combiner Wars opening salvo, which is RID 39, and then um, the part one, and then Windblade volume two, issue one, and part two, which is RID 40. So 
those three books. So that is going to be on the TF Talk Discord. Um, so which, Sunday and we have a good time. So if anybody who's into media. reading comics and chatting with people want to join us, like it, it is a lot of fun. We just it's a good excuse to read comics and it's a good excuse to just chat with people about Transformers kind of freely. And I'm the only cast member there most of the time. Christian came once. Uh, I'm mad at myself because I really was excited about that. But then, like, I just, I don't know, I, I didn't work it into my schedule, you, you know. Because like, I was like, the idea of rereading the series sounded good. But it's also kind of like, I didn't know where I'd be more interested in starting it. And then I'm just lazy and, you know, this and that, you know, because I have read it before, even though I forgot. Well, you can join it any time. That is true. And I don't have to worry about spoilers. Time reading. So, but yeah, that is uh, Sunday nights at 930 Eastern, 830 Central. So, but, uh, well, thanks everyone. Uh, there, I don't know if there'll be a cut the tape this week or not. We'll see, because I've been, uh, doing stuff on the weekends to where like going out of town so i haven't been able to you know i usually tell rick that and he's like all right well i won't bother sending you something so. <laughs> but anyway well thanks everyone and we will see you next week bye bye